Hello, Libra viewers. So I'm going to look into what your person's thinking, feeling, wanting, what action they might be taking towards you over the next couple weeks or so. Just going to see what story the cards want to tell. And um, keep in mind, you know, if it doesn't resonate, then that means that it's not your reading. So just take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If it doesn't resonate, it's just not for you. All right, let's see what we have here. So what is this story? Can we get some cards to let us know what this reading is going to be all about? Kind of just let the cards talk and tell you what they want to tell you. Usually they just, they're going to say what they want to say. <laughs> So here we have discipline, training, consistency, and practice, Jealous, ooh, jealousy, envy, punishment, and change in course, courtesy, thoughtful, polite, and good manners, and then natural, authentic, real, and organic. You know, I have this song stuck in my head, and this could be male or female. You know, I have both male and female viewers, but I have this, as soon as I started pulling the cards, I have this song stuck in my head. I don't, I don't know who sings it, but um, you'll regret the day when I find another girl who knows just what I need, who knows just what I mean when I say to keep it drama-free. That's kind of the energy I'm getting here, too. I've noticed it's really interesting that, like, Air signs and earth signs, water, fire signs, they all kind of seem to be in very similar energy with, like, the groups I read. And, you know, with my Gemini reading that I just did, I also was getting something similar that there's new love coming in. I'm getting that collectively for a lot of people, is that new love is coming in um, and that it's just going to be, it's not going to be quite what you expect. It's going to be just very unfamiliar and very real. You know, you have something very natural, very authentic, very real coming in. I think that you were dealing with someone. So this could be a pattern that you have, like ex, like abusive or toxic exes from your past. Or it could possibly um, be someone that you've been currently dealing with or just were recently dealing with. But you had someone there that was, you know, jealous, envious, um, toxic, controlling. Someone you just couldn't really have your freedom around. Someone you couldn't be yourself around someone that just their energy just didn't sit quite right with you like your body didn't feel quite right around them like your body tensed up or there was just something a little bit off there that you like your intuition the red flags were there even if you ignored them for a while I think the red flags got to a point where you couldn't ignore them and again for some of you it's just like a pattern that you're now breaking that you've had with people that are like that but um this person might have you know might have promised to be more disciplined like you know this is training consistency practice like this person made some false promises like oh i'm going to get it together or i'm going to i'm going to go to counseling or i'm going to try to work on myself i'm going to try to be better for you i'm going to try to do this going to try to do that um and then sooner or later they go back to their old controlling ways it's just the same old story again and again you know sooner or later when it's like they try to pull you back in by making these false promises, but when they have you, it's like when they feel you pulling away, they might message you or reach out. Like if you guys haven't talked for a while, it's like they hit you up or like if, if for those of you that are like in a relationship or actually like seeing this person regularly, it's like they make these promises that they're going to change. They're going to work on themselves. They're going to do this. They're going to do that. Um, and then it's just like once they have you again, they just get comfortable and it's just familiar again and they go back to being jealous, to being controlling, manipulative, whatever kind of toxic energy they might be in. And, and so I think you're kind of recognizing that this is a lost cause with this person, but you're manifesting someone new. This is probably like a sweet boy next door or girl next door type. It's someone who's a little bit more thoughtful, more caring, more selfless. Like this other person was kind of selfish. It was kind of just about them, kind of about their insecurities, how they're feeling. Always excuses. Like they just made excuses for their insecurities instead of working on them. Like, oh, I wouldn't be jealous if you didn't do this. Or I wouldn't be controlling if you didn't do this and this and this. Or, oh, I would message you more. I wouldn't have ghosted you if you hadn't said this, you know. It's like always excuses with this other person. And you're manifesting someone who's more thoughtful, more empathetic. I sense like a very kind of innocent, look at this like Snow White kind of character we have here. Like someone very, she's got her little, like her school books, I think, here. Someone who's kind of like innocent, sweet, thoughtful, um, 
more caring, whether male or female, whatever the situation might be, or just manifesting, you know, just ignore gender. It's just whatever, whatever role you're in, whatever story you're, you're in, it's just, you're just, just, you're manifesting someone that's, that's, um, more on your level and going to care about you a little bit more than this other person did. They're going to take more accountability than this person did. Um, and this is, you know, a natural connection. We have authentic, real, organic. It's going to just, things are just going to kind of flow naturally with this person. Whereas with this other person, it was just kind of controlled and forced and toxic. And it was just like, maybe, maybe someone that you have a history with, like you guys were trying to work it out, trying to figure things out together. But it's just like the same old cycle, same old story again and again and again. And with this other person, it's just gonna, it's just gonna feel right. Like it's just gonna kind of fit into place more naturally. It's like, you're not gonna have to work so hard just to communicate with this person. You're not gonna have to work so hard just to get this person's time and attention. It's just gonna kind of flow more naturally with this person. Um, I will say this person might be an experience though, because I do sense a very like sweet, innocent energy from them, which is good, but there is some, some lack of experience there. But, um, yeah, what is the what's the story? What's with this with the leaving the old person behind, the new person? Please, cards, please, 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 be clear and direct. Tell the viewers what they need to know about this connection. What do you What do y'all need to know? Please be clear and direct, please. No crazy hidden messages. Anger, miscommunication, happiness, warmth, light. Oh, okay. Oh, come on. We've got, so we have anger and miscommunication, and then we have choose a path. I'm going to put that. How can I do that? I'm going to put that right there. Oh, my God. Come on. Come on. Someone doesn't want you to choose the path. Someone wants you to choose them. <laughs> They don't want you to choose another path. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're putting it right there. Can't do this. <laughs> Can't do this with these cards today. <laughs> Stagnation, complacency, nostalgia, and longing. Hidden truth. So yeah, hidden truth coming up with this connection. I think it, the hidden truth could just be you realizing that this is toxic, that this is, that's not right for you. Toxic red flags, hidden motives, finances, and career. So yeah, you've had like a roller coaster relationship here is what I'm getting. It's something that's been very stagnant and it's like there's love there. So maybe you have a history with this person. This could also be, like I said, just a pattern that you keep repeating and you have to decide, do you want to keep repeating this pattern and meeting the same person? Like if you don't fix this pattern, then you're going to leave the toxic ex and you're just going to go to someone else who's toxic. It's going to be like the same hell, just a different devil, you know, you know, same, same shit, different day. <laughs> Um, cause we have anger and miscommunication here, but then we have happiness, warmth, and light. So this is almost like someone that like gaslights you or like someone who like maybe even abusive, like mentally or physically abusive or has been in the past where it's like a roller coaster with them. It's like they, they neglect you or they ghost you or they gaslight you or they just kind of detach from you or there's arguments and miscommunication. And it's just such a struggle just to get on the same page with this person and then, you know, there's the highs and lows. There's like the happiness, warmth, and light after that, where it's like the honeymoon phase again, where they apologize, you apologize, you guys vow to work through it. Um, and it's just a roller coaster. But then eventually it goes back to the same miscommunication, the same toxicity, the same red flags that your guides have been trying to show you with this person, the same hidden motives, the same negativity with this person. It's, it goes back to that. It's just a roller coaster with this person. And you got to choose a path. Are you going to get off this roller coaster? Are you going to are you going to end things with this person? Are you going to break these patterns that you have of dating this kind of person so that you can actually manifest your true love? Um, you you know it's been stagnant with this person. It's like the nostalgia and the longing has kept you tied down. So for a lot of you, I think you're with this person. But if you're not with this person, it could just be like you're still missing them. Like you're you're fantasizing about how it could be instead of how it actually was with them. And this hidden truth is going to come out like your guys are going to show you like, no, this person is toxic. This person is toxic. This really person really is just not 
right for you like the the truth is going to come out you've maybe ignored the red flags in the past but your guides are going to try to show you these this hidden truth you might be finding out something like i hate to say it but some of you might be finding out that they did cheat on you some of you have been w wondering if they cheated and you're going to find out they did not all of you so i don't want to say for sure some of you that might not be the case but if your intuition has been saying something's not right here it's like listen to the red flags the red flags are there. Your guys are trying to warn you that you're being gaslit, that you're being abused. Listen to them and set stronger boundaries and cut this person out and, and clear the path for real love to enter. I see you going through a phase, though, or you're coming into a phase where you're going to be more focused on finances and career for a while. This could also be that you're meeting someone. This could also be that you're meeting someone at work, like a coworker who's well okay two different stories here some of you if you've been dating the co-worker it's kind of warning you like hey this is synchronicity this is abuse for others the second path could be the co-worker it's someone that's kind of noticing you but they haven't stepped up fully yet tell me more about this the finances career this person that's coming in tell me more tell me more about them Ooh, wrong one tell me more about them tell me more what's going on here codependency addiction yeah so this addiction that you've had in the past isolation that left you feeling isolated alone empty okay but show me the new love like what do we what do we need to do to manifest so where are we at or yeah you have this this it's just this toxic pattern or this toxic person you're working through Yeah, you're going to have someone new coming in, but I think you're going to be wanting to take it slow and get to know each other better. I do sense a very innocent, sweet boy or girl next door type. And there's going to be passion and romance. Like, it's going to just flow more naturally than it was with the other person. With the other person, it was just kind of codependency and addiction and toxic patterns. It wasn't real love. With this new love coming in, I think it's just going to flow more naturally. And you're going to be able to be yourself, you know. You're going to be able to post what you want on social media. Publicity, wear what you want, do what you want, be what you want. You're going to be able to be yourself without t being told that it's too much or it's not good enough or you're doing this wrong or that wrong. You're going to just have more freedom to just kind of shine and just do what you want to do in life. Yeah, and you've got this love offer commitment from this person. Um, could be, yeah, could be a coworker, like I said. You have this love offer coming in where it's like this person is just noticing you. It's just going to flow more naturally with this person. You know what I mean? Like you'll understand that energetic difference when you actually get with this person. You'll just kind of recognize like why it couldn't work out with the ex. And you'll just you'll notice the difference like with your ex it's been like a struggle just one struggle like arguments or ghosting or miscommunication and anger never being on the same page at the same time just up and down chaos like just exhausting kind of relationship and with this other person it's just going to be passionate and romantic and you're going to be free to be yourself and you're going to be happier and you're just going to understand that energetic difference you're like wow this is just flowing naturally like i can just communicate without them detaching or making excuses ghosting me arguing with me like i can just communicate my truth i can speak my truth i can be open in a gentle way a gentle yet assertive way and they give me the same energy right back where they're very gentle with me and very assertive with me in return like it just it flows more naturally it's like you guys are just trying to with this other relationship you're just trying to put the puzzle pieces where they don't fit you know what i mean it's like someone you guys have like different love languages you have different maybe different religious views different political views like just all kinds of like differences and it's just not fitting it's just not flowing correctly and you're trying to force it and it's not going to happen honestly and you're going to have this other person and you're going to be thankful you didn't end up with the ex even if it hurts right now you're going to be thankful you did not get stuck with them and you're going to be like wow okay this is different this just this flows naturally like i can just we can just talk we're just on the same page with stuff i don't have to worry and stress so much about everything yeah i sense a very see i sense a very very sweet very empathetic very kind of innocent energy the only downside of this new person i would say is that they might not have as much life experience as you do like they're going to be kind of innocent and kind of like just almost like submissive a little bit submissive i think um just kind of like go along with what you want more but i think it's going to be a welcome 
change from what you've been dealing with with your ex or with these patterns that you've been in but like they're going to be vulnerable and receptive with you but sometimes they're going to be almost too submissive where it's like they have a hard time standing up for themselves and you might be more assertive than them so you might actually be teaching them a lesson like within this connection like you might be teaching them through your energy through your behavior through how you communicate you're going to be showing them how to stand up for themselves how to be opinionated like they've probably been in abusive toxic relationships too so they're probably at a point where they're like afraid to tell the person where they want to go eat they're afraid to speak their truth they're afraid to be too opinionated so their their throat chakra is kind of blocked and your throat chakra is kind of blocked you guys are sort of mirroring each other in that way um so when this comes in it's like they're going to be kind of timid and shy and scared a little bit like they're they're not going to be used to this they might just have a hard time expressing themselves but you know give the shy sweet person a chance is what it's saying like the coworker that kind of tries to talk to you but they're a little bit nerdy they're a little bit not your type just give them a chance like there's someone could be like a secret admirer or someone you're about to meet just someone who's very sweet and shy so don't take them at face value don't just assume like oh they're too shy for me or oh they're they must not be very emotionally deep because they don't say much like no they're, they're just they, they're just damaged and they're just shy you know they are a really sweet person though so just kind of be um I feel like they blush around you sometimes, like some of them do. For some of you, for those of you that know this person, if this is like someone around you, like a coworker, like you do make them nervous and shy. Um, but it's like, it's like, it's a very sweet person. It's a very vulnerable person, a very open person, even if they are a bit inexperienced. They are very um, caring, very empathetic. They are going to be very mindful of your feelings. Just don't take them for granted and don't abuse that. You know what I mean? Like really realize how lucky you are to have that. And I think you guys will be teaching each other how to communicate more openly and more effectively. I think that your assertiveness is going to rub off on them and help them be more assertive. Like you're going to kind of show them, hey, baby, it's okay for you to be opinionated. It's okay for you to have different opinions. It's okay for you to tell me where you want to eat. It's okay to tell me what you want. Like, like this person is like so selfless that they like put everyone first and they don't put themselves first. You know what I mean? So it's always like... It's the kind of person that's like, oh, I don't know. Where do you want to eat? I don't know what I want to eat. Whatever you want. Whatever feels right for you. And you're going to be like, no, baby, where do you want to eat? Like, what's going to, you know, what do you want? And they're not going to be used to having someone care about what they want and put what they want first. And it's going to take some getting used to. But it, but just, just don't overlook the shy, sweet girl or boy next door type is what this energy is saying here. You know, they are very vulnerable. They are very innocent. So be very gentle with them. Be very protective of them when you meet them. Fast moving energy. Yeah, coming in fast. Make your move. Green light. Yep. It's all good. It's all good. Yeah, let go of the power struggle games too that you dealt with in, this pa in the past because this relationship isn't going to be anything like what you've known before. You'll probably have the ex coming in and apologizing after you kind of move on, um, trying to get you back into the power struggle. But I think you're going to be like, no, I'm done with that. I'm done with that. You're going to want this new connection instead. You're going to want this new connection instead. Three more cards. Yeah, manipulation, deceit. They're going to, the ex is going to be spying, trying to get you back, but you're going to be ending that pattern, that cycle, breaking through, having freedom, and they're going to be spying on you. They're going to be wishing they could have that back, and you're not going to give them that chance again. You're just going to be kind of over it, but they're going to be stalking you on social media for a while, probably jealous of the new person if they're feeling that energy already, um, but you're not going to want it back, I don't think. You're going to be like, okay, now I want something that's I like this energy is better it's like it's sweet it's she's this he or she is a little bit too shy and they need to work on that they need to probably work on their confidence levels but but they are a much better and more genuine person than your ex is so yeah it's good energy coming in um if this resonates go ahead and subscribe to me and also i do private readings my email is below so just hit me up for a private reading thanks for watching